Previously on Gears. Anyway, speaking of experts, in our midst is a birthday boy, Jim McFarlane. Jim, it's great to have you in the studio. For those who don't know who Jim is, then you're missing out in the world of drifting, making donuts, making noise, having an absolute jaw in, I would call them, thunder cars, something like that. Jim, uh, well, I mean, Jim and I met a couple of years ago. We, 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 he was doing a stunt school for a company, and I was doing the MCing for it and whatever. And then from there, we've just worked. We worked together in Top Gear, Jim. Um, and drifting is your baby. It is. I mean, we uh, we run the national championship drift series, so it's good to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you in the studio. Yeah, finally. We've been talking about it for such a long time, so it's nice to finally get you. No, we have. So now tell us about the series, because, you know, a lot of people sit there and drifting, uh, you know, has exploded over the, over the last decade around the world. Um, but now we've got an actual series that runs in, in, uh, in the country. We do, and like you said, it has been a, a global phenomenon. I mean, drifting yeah. it, it exploded on this on the movie screens first yeah. with Tokyo Drift. Everyone knows that movie. Um, but um, wait, know, hold on, Daisy, do you know that movie? Yes, of course. I yes, do. Daisy knows <laughs> the movie. It's movie based. That's there why. we go. <laughs> and um, you know, obviously, from there, it, uh, it became uh, you know from a blue collar to a white collar in the states, mm. and um, you know it's it's rivaling some some really top motorsports in the states. Yeah, uh, under Formula Drift, we saw it when we were over at X Games because we were, we ran most of the extreme sports, the freestyle motocross and mm. all mm. those things, and thought, great, let's let's see if we can try and establish it yet. To our surprise, it was established. You know, a couple yeah. of guys that had been going around. Doing their thing, modifying a few modifying things, modifying a few things, putting <laughs> some some turbos on cars, and you know we spoke to them and said, you know, let's let's just keep it going, let's see where this can go, and literally year on year it has just exponentially uh, gotten better and better, and now we're sitting with a national championship series, super Amazing. Drift series, um, nine stops around the country, five different provinces. Gee whiz. Um, you know we are on Ignition TV. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a broadcast footprint. Um, we've got our websites. It really has exploded on us. So um, a lot of people call us and say, oh, "I want to learn how to drift." So wanting to grow the community and culture even mm. more, we've created drift courses. We've created a whole bunch of things. So it really has been a phenomenal success. Uh, it's it's terrific. And you know what? The amazing thing is, if you've never seen it, you know, you might have seen it in a movie like Tokyo Drift, or you might have caught it on Ignition, you know, with you guys or whatever. But to feel it, to sense it and be part of it right there and then, you know, to see those tires and smell the rubber and then the clutches. You can and, see your petrol. You, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's actually so exciting. It's a hell of a exciting. It is. The difference, though, is... Not is, when you're the guinea pig like me and you actually trying to drive around, around me. Or over you. Yeah. I missed you a couple of times. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> but, um, you know, we... It is that. It's a, it's a captive audience. When you mm. go to a normal racetrack, it is great. You, you, feel the, you feel the vibrations. You feel everything. The problem with a racetrack is you're sitting on corner seven and something happens on corner three. Difficult. That's the only thing. Yeah. And going to bigger events, like in F1, you have the screens and they make it more captive. Mm. The nice thing about drifting is you see everything right in front of you from the initiation to the finish. Everything you see, the, the, the accidents, how close the guys get. I mean, literally, you have to go at 140 k's an hour. Keep the car not even 30 centimeters apart from yeah, the car in yeah. front of you, mirroring his every move. And like you say, it's the sound, it's the V8, it's the turbos. You get that turbo flashing past you and then that V8 next to it, it really is something entertaining. Yeah. Um, and, you know, once you know the rules, because it's, I like to call it the the, the idols of motorsport yeah. because it is a judged format. Exactly, it's synchronized. Well, it's not synchronized, but it, it's about your performance, your Correct. finesse. Correct. Your so there's no there's no um, uh, checkered flag. Yeah. There's no timing. It's all about how good you are compared to the guy next to you. Exactly. And you got to perform. You got to you got to outperform him, and that's what's so amazing. And then obviously you have a ladder. You go down. You finally get your winner. But you will always be paired up against someone known as, as tandems. Yeah, no, it's it's terrific fun to watch. The amazing thing that I found over the years watching, especially with with uh, your teams around you, is how young these guys are coming in, and and just the the actual car control, their ability is is quite quite amazing. Well, does it come from playing games? <laughs> it does actually. I'll be, I'll be really, it does the guys, the the youngsters, a guy by the name of Jason Webb. Phenomenal yeah. success. He came in at 17 years of age. No learner's driver's license. No driver's license. Yeah. Um, literally got taught by one of the top drivers in the country and, and started smoking the competition. Excuse the pun. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got Leroy France, another youngster. Um, we now have a 15-year-old. Really? 
that is showing huge success. Incredible. Um, and it is. It's uh, you know you can get in a car and it's good. It's good. It's good control of the car. It is. It's amazing because that will stand you in good stead if, if you know, touch wood, something had to go wrong if you were driving on a normal road. Correct. I know? mean, that's why we do those driving courses yeah. now. The, it's a drifting course. You know, where most advanced driving courses tell you, well, we'll teach you how to correct when you go into the situation. Mm. And we say, well, hold on. There's a difference. We'll teach you how to control. When you're in the situation. When you're in the situation. Now, listen, Daisy's only got a Fiat 500... 1.2 C. Can we get it going sideways? Jim? I can get anything sideways. No, I know that. <laughs> I'll can, get we try it, sideways. can we try it in the parking lot? I'm happy to. It's she's very precious. No, you can give me the keys. I promise. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be good. Now, listen, the, the thing before we talk about the, the school um, and, and what's happening this weekend before the first national. A lot of people sit there and think it's got to be brute power. It's all got to be V8. It's all got to be this, that, and whatever. But the art specifically of drifting is is more than likely having a rear wheel drive kind of car as opposed to a front wheel drive. It's That's only, already going to be a lot only easier. Rear wheel drive. Yeah. Drifting is only rear wheel drive. I mean, you can get a, a front wheel drive car sideways, but you need to pull the handbrake. Um, That's you then just sliding it. Yeah. Um, the, the actual art of controlling the car it has to be rear wheel drive. You can drift an all wheel drive. We've all seen yes. block. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know that's an all wheel drive drift, high speed. The the rear wheel drive is a little bit more difficult because you can lose it that much. The quicker. oversteer. The oversteer. My hate. My my personal. <laughs> Nemesis of the world. On track, yes. The oversteer. The oversteer. I mean, you lose so much time yeah. around the corner. Everyone thinks, oh, it's faster. You're controlling it. You do lose time uh, and do lose um, speed when you're racing and you yeah, oversteer yeah. And, you're con- and you're controlling it. You will lose it. Um, lose time, I'm talking about. But, um, you know, it is. It's about the finesse. Mm. Knowing your edge. Knowing, knowing how far you can take that car before spinning out. And, you know, that's, that's an art in itself, yeah. let alone the clutch kicking, the control, the switch overs, the handbrakes, left foot braking, everything that you'd imagine in rally car and normal racing, yeah. you combine into, into drifting on those three corners. It's incredible. It is. It's fantastic. And, and normally, uh, we've taken some, some really top drivers, uh, yeah. racing drivers in the car. And they get in the car, and you can imagine them leaning uh, back. I know how to do this. They know that I've been fussed around the track. You, and it's great, <laughs> and they buckle up, and everything's cool. And you pull off with a bit of a speed, and you don't start slowing down. Where you normally get your yeah, braking points exactly. on the corners, you normally have to brake at like the hundred or the foot, whatever, depending on how fast you're going. When you don't touch your brake at any of those points, you start seeing the normal racing drivers looking for the um, roll bars to hold on to, because they realise I'm going to be seeing. Kitty Little, possibly a wall. Yeah, no, that, and uh, they start stiffening up, and you hit that first corner, yeah. you handbrake it, you uh, come flying into it. It is, yeah, even they have uh, a feel for it. I'm just looking at Di. She's so excited about all of this. It just seems like it's her kind of game. <laughs> Hey, I mean, it's your kind of game there, Daisy. Definitely. I could see you just <laughs> sitting there going, go faster, Jim. Make it go wider. Squeal those tires even more. I think it's, you know. And I'll be saying it in such a high-pitched yeah. voice. Yeah, I think we, we've got to get it. But I remember last year, I, how many girls are getting involved in it? Well, again, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. We actually have two go- two ladies that are, mm. that are taking part. We have uh, Rulinda Toy, who's been around for a long time, doing okay. fantastic work at the Rock Raceway. But then we have Claire Vale. She's oh, actually, Claire's awesome. She's, ta- she's come on over from the V8 side yes. of things. Uh, V8 racing. She's in a V8 drift car. Um, Obviously, she loves the V8s. Yeah. And um, she's doing really well. She actually came into uh, top eight at one of the, the, oh, last events, one of the, the preliminary events. And, yeah, it's starting to come along. So we got, we're getting more and more girls. Uh, yeah. And like I said, the youngsters showing some their proficiency yeah. in it. Oh, Claire's a diehard petrolette. She is. And so is Don, her yeah. husband. Oh, yeah. The no, whole no. family is, it's is just, fantastic. It's just, oh, terrific, terrific stuff. All right. So tell us what's happening this weekend. And then, then tell us about the um, the nationals. We have a uh, we we run our drift courses uh, yes. on a regular basis. We actually ha- utilize the little track that's been made at Nazrek, okay, uh, with the ranch show grounds and all yes. that. Yes, there's a, a purpose built little drift section that we use for courses and we use for shows, demonstrations, and uh, we'll be going there mm. and uh, putting a couple of people sideways, teaching them how to control yeah. that oversteer. And uh, we'll be putting them into the uh, beautiful six-liter V8 Luminous. You check Dar's eyes glinting. Yeah, you see that? Sure. Six-liter. Six the liter. engine's the size <laughs> of a Fiat 500. <laughs> Just the engine. 
So um, yeah, it's it's the guys are gonna the, those that drive it will have the power. Yeah. Um, and uh, they're great cars to drive. Oh, really. they're terrific. They they are, you've been in they it. are wonderful. And um, you know, they, they, it's just nice to have that that immediate power. And you were bringing up. I'm going to go back a little bit yeah. about power versus. Mm. It's actually all about the driver. It really is. It's yeah. good to have power. It's good to have those cars spinning the wheels. But power is not everything. I've seen yeah. a 150 horsepower car go up against a 650 horsepower car yeah. and beat its butt. Exactly. You've got to be the driver. You've got to be the driver. It's all about, you know, the, 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 but he doesn't have the power. He comes down with more speed. And if you think I'm talking going in fast into a corner, those lighter cars, smaller uh, um, cylinder, uh, um, powers, they come flying in yeah. and just keep up with those big, massive horsepower cars. And that's the thrill of it. Amazing stuff. It is. It's good fun. It is. So now, can people come along? We do. We do take bookings. I mean, okay. We do get. All right. We do get so a fair ha- amount of bookings. All right. Yeah. You can go onto our website, superdrift.co.za. Yeah. And it's S U P A. Yeah. Drift uh, or XS Promotions, which is the events company. Yeah, oh, that's and brilliant. Then, fun. So. And then nationals. When do they start? Nationals start on the second of March. Of March. Yeah. Now that is the the first event. It's okay. going to be at the Rock Raceway in Brackpan. Yeah. And when I say to him, it's probably going to be having our biggest field of drivers. Jeez. We're looking at close on 50 drivers. Now, if you think about yeah. Super Series and other, you know, the Polo yeah. Series doesn't even have that many no, drivers. No, it's got like 30. 100. So as an as a individual discipline, yeah, we're far exceeding. And how do, you, how do you rank people? Well, they get qualified. Okay. So you have a full qualifying session. So each car is allowed to go out and have a practice run. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you've got practice the entire day of, yes. of Friday. But on the Saturday, we'll have a qualifying session. So mm-hmm. you have one practice run just to get your tires warm and, and mark out the, the track again in your mind. And then your first run, you can go out and qualify. You get two qualifying runs. So if you stuff it up on the first run, you mm-hmm. can go and do it on the second run. All right. But you've got to go and get clipping points. So it's not about just, oh, I'll just go and put the car sideways on the track. Yeah. It's about meeting those clipping points. And there's four or five clipping points in, on a track yeah. on, around the corners. And you've got to get either your front bumper or your back bumper sideways as close to that clipping point as possible. Then switching over and getting to the next clipping point. Oh, terrific. Um, and, and That's brilliant skill. It's all about, it's all about line. It's all about uh, your line angle, how much angle you've got. Because yeah. the more angle you've got, the more closer to the edge you are of, of, of losing it um, and speed. And combine all of that, you get a qualifying, ra- qualifying ranking. Yeah. And obviously, you then have a first to 50. Only the top 32 will qualify. And number one will obviously go up against number 32. And then it breaks down until you get the winner. Fantastic fun. And that's at Rock uh, Raceway. Everyone can get superdrift.co.za. Yeah, superdrift.co.za. Okay. The tickets are available uh, yeah. at the track. And uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of fun. There's going to be, be awesome. autograph signing. You'll meet the top drivers yeah. and find out how to get involved. You can, you know, it's, we'll be doing some suicide rides. Don't, you don't actually die. <laughs> it's just a yeah. nice name that Check. they came up with it uh, for, for taking a couple of people on rides. It's just an all out action packed yeah, motorsports fun day. Oh, terrific, Jim. I'm so excited for you, man. It's brilliant, brilliant. I'm glad it's going. Also, the tire companies must love you. Yeah, a lot of the – it started off slow. Yeah. But now they're coming along and seeing okay. that, you know, they, they, they get great exposure from it. You know, they want to know what tire smokes so much or what tire grips so much. And it really becomes very involved. So, yeah. so they didn't like us in the beginning because they just saw it as burning tires. Yeah. But now they're starting to come around and saying, hey, there's some, some massive value. That's fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, Jim, always good to see you. I hope, uh, I hope uh, we are at Top Gear together as well uh, this year. Certainly hope so. Looking yeah. forward to it. We all just wait in limbo at this stage, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll all come together. And happy birthday yet again. Thank you very uh, much. Good luck for, for Saturday this weekend and then for the Nationals. Keep yeah. us updated with everything and we'll, we'll post all the results here. Great stuff. Looking forward to all it. All right. There we go. Jim McFarlane, superdrift.co.za. Get involved. Go for a spin. It is really, really so much fun. <laughs> Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. On balls.co.za.